Okay, then we can hear that we're done. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll start with Jeff Ferrato. Chase, uh, can you take us through that last drive uh, from your own 10 yard line and, and sort of if it felt a little bit like last year having to come back and what kind of confidence the offense had moving the ball down the field? Yeah, I mean, it kind of felt like last year, uh, you know, having to drive down and score again, but, you know, getting the ball in our own 10, we knew, we knew what we had to go do. We had to go score, not a situation we're new to, and we were very confident breaking the huddle on the first play. And the whole team was confident. I mean, we knew we were going to go score on that drive. Can you talk about what Christopher Brown gave you tonight, uh, just coming in late in the game and giving you a little boost? Yeah, I mean, Chris is a great back. He always has been for us. And, you know, to have him in the second half, you know, was awesome. See him, you know, run the ball how he does, you know, stiff arm people to know tomorrow and you know, ultimately finish that drive off with a touchdown uh, was, was awesome of him. Okay, moving to a question from Trace Travers. Yeah, Chase, uh, how do you say uh, Damian Moore did in his uh, time out there today? Damian played great. Uh, you know, being a true freshman, it is tough, you know, playing college football, especially at a running back position, you know, where it's not only mentally challenging, but physically as well. Um, so I think he did a really, really good job today. Thank you. Okay, go to Jasper Sundin for the Daily Count. Hey, Chase. Uh, I think mistakes have plagued you guys the last couple of games. How do you guys react to that as a team? Uh, well, you know, we watched the film, got to go clean it up next week. We not make the same mistakes that we do week, uh, week after week. Okay, move on to Jeff Ferrata. Chase, you guys obviously came into the season with, with high expectations for yourselves. Now you're up three and, and you're going to have to win out and get a bowl game. How disappointing is this and how perplexing is it to you and you know based on what you thought you guys could be this year you know well it's definitely uh difficult you know to go on three to start but you know we got nothing to lose now uh our hearts out like we do it week in and week out uh, clean up little things and you know we'll get that win we've been close to two weeks in a row now and now we just got okay next go to jim mcgill with bear insider Okay, so what do you guys feel like you have to do to bounce back and get this season into a sal salvageable situation? Well, uh, you know, from the team standpoint, I think you know, every every unit, offense, defense, special teams, those things to clean up. So, you know, we got to dissect the film, work on it in practice, and make it translate uh, to Friday or Saturdays whenever we're playing. Are guys pretty mad about the way things have gone? I mean, yeah, we're 0-3. Uh, two games come down to the wire, two unfortunate losses. So yeah, I could say we're pretty pretty upset. Okay, do we have any other questions? Okay, thanks, Chase. Appreciate it.